So I played a headlining show at Red Rocks. What the f Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Gabe Algera from drumbeatsonline.com. It feels amazing to be back. Today I'm coming at you from behind this desk that was super easy to bring down from upstairs. Ah! Hey man, you already used that joke in your last video. Wait, seriously? Dang it. So holy crap, it has been two months since my last video and it is definitely not because I got really insecure about my last video and got really nervous every time I logged onto YouTube and every time I saw a negative comment, I got really sad and lonely. It wasn't because of that. A lot has happened since the last time I've made a YouTube video and we can get into some of the really exciting updates at the end, but for now what I wanna talk about is the fact that I got to headline Red Rocks with my band I Prevail. It was insane. While normally I do a really great job of vlogging you through my whole experience, this time the day was a little bit hectic, so I was able to film a lot, but not as much as I wanted to. So I figured I would walk you through what the day looked like and we'll put in the footage where it needs to go. Sound good? So for those of you who do not know, Red Rocks is an outdoor amphitheater in Denver, Colorado that seats 10,000 people. It is super high up in the mountains and it is between these two beautiful, beautiful Red Rocks and it is so many musicians dreams to just play there. So the fact that I got to play there and the fact that I got to headline it was incredible. The past month I've been on the road with I Prevail and we've had a band called Issues and Justin Stone opening up for us, which has been really awesome. However, once we stopped in Denver for this Red Rock show, we also threw on a band called Animals as Leaders to be our direct support. Now, if you don't know Animals as Leaders or Matt Garska as a drummer, you are seriously missing out. <laughs> so basically the day looked like we rolled into Red Rocks and it was a beautiful drive. Then we showed up to the green rooms, which were amazing. So normally green rooms kind of suck, but this is pretty sick. Oh Got a massage chair, we got rocks, we got TV. How many right. bathrooms? How many? Two bathrooms! We made it! And for the rest of the day, I got to explore this iconic venue where some of the biggest legends in music have all got to play before. So the fact that I got to share the stage with these people was mind blowing. All right, I'm about to go check out the stage, see what this thing looks like. Going up for sound check was maybe one of the most intimidating sound checks I've ever been to in my entire life because the only three people who were watching were the three guys in Animals as Leaders. So Matt Garska being one of my drum idols, him watching me play a bunch of 16th notes was scarier than maybe playing the entire show. But then on the flip side, I got to watch their sound check where I just got to see some incredible musicianship, which was amazing. up to the show was really awesome because we had a bunch of friends and family surrounding us which was just a lot of fun but one thing that was absolutely incredible was that each one of us was gifted with this trophy now if you can see this trophy has not only my name on it but right here is an actual piece of the rock now this trophy is only given to musicians who headline Red Rocks. And I have to say, this is incredibly surreal to own this because I know 
that basically every single one of my musical influences and idols also have this. So to even own this and own one of the same things that they do is absolutely mind blowing and surreal. And I am incredibly grateful uh, for this and to have a physical representation of just an incredible experience and incredible night. And then as well, you get to go underneath this tunnel of the entire venue where it's a bunch of rock and it's all of the artists who have played there, they get to sign it. So again, we got to include our names on that, which again is so surreal and amazing. Go down the streets that there's a tunnel where we sign our names. Oh, oh my gosh, here's my best friend Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, you excited to sign your name on the tunnel of Red Rocks? Sorry, my friend, he's shy. My, Dylan, what are you? Yeah, he's shy, he's a shy guy. We call him Shy Dylan. No, we don't. Shy Dylan on stage every night. I hate you. <laughs> oh my god, my best friend Dylan, he's right here. Dylan, what are you, what are you gonna sign? A lot of times you can't really hear me. Like Dylan! Uh, hello, too are you gonna sign your name or what are you gonna do? No. <laughs> then it got close to showtime and I cannot lie, I was feeling it. I was like, this is intimidating. There's gonna be a bunch of people there. Um, this is an iconic venue. There was a lot of pressure, but I was feeling good about it overall. You know, like I was. There was a big challenge and I was ready to meet the challenge. And I had a whole ton of adrenaline behind me to guide me along the way. But yeah, we played the show and it looked a little something like this. So holy crap, that was insane, insane. That was such an incredible experience. And one thing that you didn't see is as soon as I finished the last note of the first song, I just broke down and started crying. It was a really weird uh, rush of emotions where then that's never happened to me before. Um, 
but I was just feeling really, really grateful and really appreciative. And I guess I just wanna share like through this, um, through these things is that I know that a lot of the times these things seem very unattainable. They certainly did for me. I mean, two and a half years ago, I was pretty used to playing clubs in front of 50 people um, or less. And you know what? I was fine with that. That was still really fun. It was fun for me to play drums in whatever avenue I could, whether that was online, which has of course been a big part of it. But um, I guess, you know, the, the cliche message of follow your dreams is very cliched. And it is also a little bit flawed because it's important to follow your dreams, but I guess I would flip it and instead of saying follow your dreams, I would say fight for them because these things are a fight and they take time. It really does. And I know that there are gonna be ups and downs or certainly have for me, and things might not always play out the way that you expect them to, they definitely didn't for me, but always be creative and always fight to push forward. And if you keep fighting and you keep pushing forward over an extended period of time and your motives are in the right place, you're doing it because you love drums, you love what you do, not to get to this certain place, good things will follow and you have to celebrate every small victory along the way. And that is what it's really about. But let's talk about some other updates. In the past couple months, I got a really sick pair of custom drumsticks that you can see right here. They're the I Prevail ones uh, with my little signature. I'm super stoked on these. These are really awesome. Thank you to Vic Firth for these. These are seriously super awesome. I appreciate them working with me on it. Uh, They're super cool and Maybe I'll put them on sale at some point, but I don't know, we'll see. Second update is that I have been touring a ton with I Prevail. Like I said in this video, I was on a tour with them. I'm actually leaving for Europe right now, today at the time of filming this video, so I'll be in Europe. And then uh, we're hitting the road a little bit more, so feel free to come out to a show. Come say hi, I'll be at all the meet and greets. They're super fun, it's been amazing to meet you guys. And number three, I have been working tirelessly for all you DBO members on creating a brand new makeover for the membership site. Some incredible things are coming your way. So for all you members, sit tight because this summer there will be some incredible new things that you will learn about soon. But I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be talking with you guys again. One thing I would really love to hear from you is where do you want to see your drumming take you? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Stay true, you're awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.